Hello everyone, it's Jill Fountain here from, I'm from 38 Partnership, but today we're in Building Tomorrow Today. And today I am very excited, I've got Claudia Rickard here. Now Claudia is known as the English Therapist. I'll read a little bit about her so that you get, you get some uh, idea. Uh, Claudia is a clinical hypertherapist who is now living in North Carolina, and she's been living there for one and a half years. She specializes in anxiety, trauma, and PTSD. This year, she's been studying for a diploma as a Nightingale dementia consultant. She is also very excited and as, as, soon as, she, as soon as she will be working in this field, helping people living with dementia to enhance their quality of their lives. As it's been proven scientifically that hy hy oh, hypnosis, I nearly said that wrong, can help people regain their cognitive abilities. <laughs> Nightingale dementia consultant, Claudia, you must be thrilled to bits. But yeah, I'm, I'm very, very excited, yes. So but I'm, I'm not allowed to work though until December the 2nd. Um, well, I actually have got my exams and uh, last evaluation on December the 1st, but yes, I'm very excited. And it, it'll just be amazing to be able to help people um, living with dementia to improve their quality of life. And let's not forget, it's their carers as well and the families, because actually we work with the whole uh, team uh, and we do an agreed shared action plan. And so, yeah, so it's yeah but I'm, i am but i'm very excited about it it's such a, a such an area in demand as well isn't it if you can I, find the right people to work with it makes such a difference to the whole family and friends unit well jill there are every three seconds somebody worldwide is being diagnosed with dementia wow and wow. it's it's not just um because people always think it's um more the elderly that get it it isn't there is young on the set dementia people yeah. have and children can have it there are a hundred different types of dementia wow really? so i will be able to help with from children all the way through to um as i say that uh, the, the seniors but the, the the um i know and it's terribly sad when children have it because sadly they they do eventually um pass away uh it's it, and it is really sad and it can they can they generally get it say about nine or ten and really? i've never heard of childhood or children dementia i've it, heard of it as young as um 30 mid 30s mm -hmm. shocking but i've never heard of it in in children it's called Batten's disease and it's it can take a long time to get it diagnosed because people, um, the doctors, they think it's always something else because it is so very rare. Yeah. But it does happen. Wow. Um, good morning. Uh, good afternoon. We've got all good morning. Which time zone you in? We are. We have got a Facebook user who says her grandmother has dementia and it's very sad. Um, if you want to go to face uh, to StreamYard, StreamYard in Facebook and just click the settings, you'll we'll be able to see who you are, but please keep posting any questions in between times. So you're gonna start this in December or you're taking your final exams in December, is that right? Taking, yes, and straight away, it's already, I'm getting my website, a new website launched, uh, ready to go. Uh, but even right now, I've got some wonderful things that will help carers. That's It's on my website right now. Uh, it's called a trauma relief kit, uh, which is on www.claudiaricard.com. That is, there's a trauma relief kit, and on that, it actually covers anxiety and panic attacks. So, because we've, we've got to remember, the, the carers, they they're losing sleep because they yeah. might be worried that the that um, their loved one might be, um, uh, and they, and people call it wandering. And it's it's not necessarily wandering to that person with dementia. They are walking with purpose somewhere, right? Be in their reality, and 
it's it there's, a, there's an awful lot of things that that i can talk about um but i'd be on here forever well, we would, um, so, and i really would uh and i can talk about this forever i'm afraid um so but one of the um uh things that is on my uh this trauma relief kit there's three mp3 recordings of my voice uh, i don't sound like this when i'm doing therapy i, I so, sat and listened to you yesterday claudia i i we were we, just for the listeners and the viewers we were sat chatting yesterday it was supposed to be a 10 minute chat it wasn't a 10 minute chat but in between that i did download claudia's uh, mp3 for mp3 or mp4 yeah, so it's mp3 MP3, yeah. um, and I, I played it last night, and it is wonderfully soothing. Thank you for that. Thank I've actually got the website on my screen, so if I, I might be able to do it. I don't know. Let me see. Let me just show show everybody what we're talking about. I'm not. I'm okay, but I'm not that okay with this. But if you come on to Claudia's website here. And go through to your free. Am I in the right area, Claudia? Yes, that's right. Yes, your free yeah. trauma relief kit. Yeah. If you come through to that area there, and you'll see, you do have to put your name and your email address in. But my word, it is very. It is worth it. It really is. So that's what it looks like when you go through. And have you got any tips for us along the way, Claudia? I've always got tips. <laughs> <laughs> so absolutely. So uh, at the moment, you know what life is is like at the moment for everybody, uh, and it's 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 just it's it's all, it's, it's it's awful. So a lot of the tips they are actually on that relief on that trauma relief kit, right? Uh, but the one thing is so important for at least once a day, everybody to do the opposite of stress of 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 if they're having a panic if they're what you know feeling um, not very positive if they're feeling unhappy and that is why I put that mindfulness uh, recording on there because that's even just five minutes so again before you go to bed at night write down some things that you are grateful for yeah. so that when you go to sleep that is the more positive thing that is in your head as you go to sleep there is it's as i say again it's really important to do the opposite of um of, of being stressed out uh, and feeling relaxed because and this is again why i put all those recordings on there because when you are relaxed you are calm when you are calm you are clear-minded and when you are clear-minded you can handle any situation that comes your way Okay, so you know sometimes we go to bed, and I'm sure this happens not only me, but sometimes I go to bed and my head is absolutely buzzing with information. It's almost like it's too full. Yeah. And all, the what ifs, all the what ifs. Yes. What if this, and then what if that? And then and then that will happen and then that will happen. And then even even just me saying that, thinking about oh it fills yeah. you with anxiety okay so it's really important for the breathing and again that is on the relief kit so all but it's always breathing in through the nose breathing in through the nose the reason why it's you have to breathe in through the nose is because it activates the vagus nerve which is directly linked to the parasympathetic nerve and that calms all the organs down so it's really important to always breathe in through the nose we people tend to shallow breathe yes and they go, and, and again, you can almost feel the panic come on. So no, mm. stop and just start to breathe in. And I do it 7-11, so you're counting in for 7 and counting out for 11. And that takes practice. You might need to work up. You might need to do 3 and then 5 or until you build up to 7. But because while you're counting, you are actually distracting yourself as well. Oh. And again, with the what-ifs, okay, so here's another really good tip. Again, it's always end the sentence what if and then finish it with i'll handle it i'll okay. figure it out always finish yourself with that now funny enough i had a client who said to me what if i don't figure it out though so i said okay i said where's the evidence 
but you've never figured it out. And she said, well, there was this one time. And I said, okay. I said, what was the learning? Did you get some learning from that? And she went, oh, yeah. I got uh, learning. So you see, there's always an answer to it. There yeah. is never a fail, never a fail. There's only ever learning. Yeah. And when you're having a bad day, okay, so life goes up, up and down. We know it goes up and down. It's a roller coaster. Yeah. Oh, crikey, oh. especially if you're in business. Well, there's ups, there's not downs. Only, but you've not only got your family going up and down, but you've got your business going up and down, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. So what did you learn when you were having a bad day? Okay, what did you learn when you're having a bad day? Who, who you know, what was it? And then, so just, just check out, did you get enough sleep? Did you perhaps have um, a couple of glasses of wine the night before? Did you not eat so well? Did you do, you know, it's, did you not exercise at all? Did you um, meet up with somebody or have a phone call with somebody who you know always drags you down? Oh, yeah. When you're having a good day, why are you having a good day? So, so often we forget to take the learning from a good day. Yes. yes. Why yes. are you having a good day? Oh. It's because actually I did have a really good night's sleep the night before. And because I, I uh, oh, and today I've done a lot of walk. I've been, uh, you know, been with people who build me up, uh, who, who make me laugh. Because laughing yeah. is so important. And it's just, so just take the, keep taking the learning. Yeah. And it's, so it's always okay. It makes, it makes a difference. I know that when we're on a good day, when things are really going right, we try to extend it. So we, I, I literally say, this is it, we're on a roll. What else have we not managed? So literally we take the hardest job that we've been struggling with for ages and we go, we're on a roll here, let's try and get that job. <laughs> and yeah. get, get the energy back in. So you're, you're trying to extend that positive and that creative and everything that goes with it, uh, uh, that, that feeling that you're on when you're having a really good day. Absolutely, Jill. No, spot on. Trying to be more positive. And again, same when we have um, see people with who have dementia. It's about trying to stay positive, keeping the smile going for them. And one thing that I will say is that it's is trying to be in their reality. Stay in the person's reality. If they think they are um, going to go and watch a Wimbledon match, say, or they're going to go, okay, yeah, that's that's oh, nice. Yeah. Don't tell them they're not going to do something that they might be looking forward to. Oh, because it's it's because actually they think they are, and because in a, another five minutes they might say it again, and then so what you can, yeah, so they won't. So. When you're saying that, they won't be then disappointed because they didn't go to the no. event that they were looking forward to. No, because oh. what you can then do is they'll forget is is actually go. Oh yes, and we can bring Wimbledon here as well, can't we? And let's put some shows on from you know try and find it on on a um, a YouTube and yeah. watch Wimbledon. And then oh, and then say, and and if and if you're noticing that this is a pattern, then perhaps get some strawberries and cream in. Oh, that is a wonderful tip. And again, it, so it's being in their reality. Again, if if that person, and this often happens, is that they go because they might forget that their loved one, you know, their partner has passed away, and they might go, "Oh, he's coming home soon because he's been playing golf," or or whatever it is. Is he coming back from work soon? You know, just go. Don't God. tell them he's dead. Oh, don't tell me she's dead. No. Because they go, oh, okay. And then they'll no. be sad. And then in five minutes, they might ask the same question. And then they're sad again. Oh. And again, and again, and again. Just go, yeah, that's right. Oh, wow. That is wonderful. And wow. if, if at some point, Jill, they mm. actually say, oh, I've got that wrong. They're dead, aren't they? OK, because sometimes they flip in and out yes, okay? yeah. and then go and then you can say, you know, yes, mum. But it's it's nice to pretend sometimes, isn't it? Oh, so you're with so them. Do you see yeah. them. And then it's 
and and then you can do the she would look at some she would look at some fun nice photos and you know and go down memory lane or again should we watch a film that you both used to like to to watch you know what was what was dad's favorite film and and then and put it on oh it's, that's lovely ways to do it yes and, well, and, yeah because i i i do you know i'm one of these people that would probably go oh i want to correct them but you like you say it just brings them down lower yeah what does just this lady it. say my grand told me the other day she was up since 3 a.m and had gone to, to breakfast with someone and had a, a good time great Wow. what did you do you go yes if you yeah. had a great time why not it doesn't matter what time you're having a great time does it she had a good time to yeah. be in her reality absolutely yeah. fantastic just go oh what did you do and then she goes oh well we we went and um we were in the james bond movie <laughs> whatever she might have said oh Ooh, well shall we watch one oh we watch a james bond 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 film then yeah and Again, if um, now this is uh, again, I'm, look, I'm, I'm wearing red, but, and I purposely wore red to remind me to say this: people with um, de dementia they don't like the colour red. No. Um, they're very unfortunate for me because I have a lot of red in my wardrobe, and it is one of um, you know I do like it because it's 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 um, it's a nice bright colour. Actually, it's a little bit more orange this red, uh, but red is not good for people with dementia it can cause anxiety uh so yeah uh which is why i've made my room slightly more uh, browny and i've got a blue chair so it's more muted colors that are that are better in fact if any homes they should all have um sort of more um you know uh i don't know duck egg blue and yes like yeah. 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 calming yeah. colors uh and light greens and things like that so uh but um what was i going to say there's uh the being it so being in their reality is 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 really important absolutely so yeah that, that's yeah. wonderful that that's such good tips because you know with so many people having this within the family unit then it we sometimes we just don't know how to cope with it no it's a learning curve for everyone isn't it and there's and yeah and and there's it's uh is it the, but what what one people might like to know is uh, how do we prevent? Prevention is always better than cure, and really and truly, Jill, we need to look after ourselves. Okay, we need everybody needs to look after their exercise, diet, lifestyle. So yeah. uh, people, uh, sadly, people who are more prone to having uh, obesity, uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, they, you know, that they, they might well be more prone to having dementia. Oh. So we looking need after ourselves right from the very beginning and teaching our children and grandchildren to look, to look after themselves. No soda, I'm afraid. No, oh. no you know, Coke, fizzies. <laughs> yeah. I, have, I don't have soda at all. Now, really, I don't have fizzy anything. I had half a can or tin or whatever it was of soda the other day. I was so ill, I had to go to bed. It oh. had a really nasty reaction on me. That's it. Yeah. And I thought, that's it. I always knew that I didn't like it. I never fancied it. But I don't understand what the why or what, but something there's something about soda. Do you know what it is? So, I, I don't what, that everybody likes? Yeah, yeah, because actually I, I do. I <laughs> I quite like I like I like a Bacardi, <laughs> <laughs> caffeine free. But yeah, so I, was like, I was like when I heard that, I went. Mm. You know? oh. <laughs> but if you said we hey, don't drink wine, I'd probably. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh no. The good thing is, is that you can um, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, the red is uh, is actually absolutely fine. It's got the um, some fl flavonoids in it that are actually okay. Oh, so right. it's, yeah, well, you can. That, then. Yeah. Not, not, not a whole bottle, <laughs> <laughs> but you can have a you can have a you can have a drink. Yeah, sort of. So, okay. so even so, somebody who has dementia early onset, they don't have to suddenly think, oh, that's it, everything go. Yeah. But generally, eating a good you know Mediterranean style. Um, 
diet, diet yeah. exercise exercise and uh, some weights uh yeah all, all really important and then just generally doing some cognitive um exercises even those those like those adult coloring books yeah um, uh, word searches yeah, just lovely, just, aren't they? yeah uh, reading a novel read it or listening to it but but yeah it's it's and there's things people we can do there is things we can do but hypnotherapy it has been scientifically proven to help with dementia wow and wow. that's the brilliant really, i know i know very excited you're in and, right field aren't you with not only have you got your your you've got these two things going on but they all join yeah yeah so it's because uh, well again because it's very traumatic when people uh Oh, yeah. find out and for the family so oh, and i use the um the blast technique which is bilateral analysis stimulation treatment for trauma um which is my light pen and that uh takes any trauma that's residing in the right hemisphere of the brain yeah sort of the amygdala sort of around here uh into the left side and we do certain passes and say certain super suggestions and that does eventually resolve the issue so that we take the, I can't take um, significant emotional events away, I can't take traumas away, they've happened, but it can take the emotion out of it. So oh, that you can talk about it, think about it. Start welling up and feeling awful and yeah. panic. Yes, yeah, because you can get that so often in your, here, in your chest, it goes up your throat, mm. and you've got this big frog in your throat, it goes behind your eyes and you just cry. Mm. So, we, so I can turn that frog into a tadpole. And it's 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 just it's just it's like EMDR. It's uh, just as effective. And um, however, I I because I am EMDR EMDR trained as well. But I actually prefer the bus technique because it's just uh, that much more efficient. And you can do this um, on on Zoom. Yes. And I, and I think when we all started going online virtually like we are, that was a big question mark. But I've heard some very favorable remarks from all different areas of, of you know, people that used to definitely work face to face. And this seems to be OK. It, it is actually working, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's you, do, you do all your sessions on Zoom now, or do you still manage to get I do. And actually, uh, when I see people uh, when, when when they have dementia, I'll be going to their houses. Uh, I, I would I'd like to see their environment check out um, because the more doors you go through, yeah, you you forget what you were going upstairs for. Now this oh. happens. To, to, to me um i will go i i go upstairs for something and i've gone through so many doors and then i've gone up and i've gone, I've gone back downstairs and i've gone i didn't get what i wanted what yeah I want? you go oh yeah and then i go back upstairs. I, do remember. I do remember that um whereabouts in north carolina are you because we've got quite a few members from north carolina so i'm in apex and yeah. which is uh, sort of about 20, 25 minutes from Raleigh. Uh, oh, so I'm sort of Holly Springs, uh, yeah. near there. Yeah, so Cary. They're, they're, they're yeah, all... all around that. Uh, yeah. So we have got a few members from that area. Uh, uh, amazingly so. So, And you you like it over there, don't you? Oh, I love it. I love it. You know, it's like, it's going to be 70 degrees today. It's raining. Really it's not taking it down, but it's, it's miserable out there in the UK. <laughs> Uh, well, what can I say? And <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, um, let's just remember, what we'll do is we'll pop your details in the post below this video and we will um, point people towards it and hopefully you'll get people through downloading your... your um, A trauma relief kit. It is trauma. fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to care. Trauma so, relief. So, I'm not going to sell you anything. You know, it's no. like I'm not going to... You, you no, no. That. and you might get one or two just saying did you get it hope you liked it and, that, and that's it I, yeah. i'm the upsell <laughs> if, yeah. you want, if, if you want your own tailored um hypnotherapy session for you because I, because when i see people i just you know i i sort of just say what what comes you know it, it, i can tailor everything to the person because everybody's yeah. so unique and individual so yeah. and yeah 
And so and my sessions, my first session is uh, it's two hours long. And we just sort so much out in that in that two hours. I'm not the sort of therapist that you see forever. I get, I get people sorted. Lovely. So if anybody's listening today, for anybody today or in future, please do get in touch with Claudia because I am sure she can help you. So thank you very much, Claudia. For You are my first Facebook Live. It has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so thank much you for joining me. me. And I've learned so much. Yeah, so thank you for having me. You're very welcome. We'll say goodbye, everyone. Bye.